Jeanette Pasternak, the Stop Skin Picking Coach. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit of an embarrassing personal story that I think can help you apply strategies to figure out like what to do when you're skin picking or hair pulling, whatever body focus repetitive behavior, BFRB you have. The first time this happened was in October, I was in a hurry and earlier in the day, I had taken some stuff out of my car and I had a bunch of things to carry and I had left the trunk open and I said to myself, oh, okay, you're gonna have to remember to close the trunk. But later in the day when I took my car out and I was in a hurry, I did not actually remember that my trunk was open or notice that it was open and I hit it into the garage door and I kind of damaged it, but it was okay, a little dented and I took off. That never happened again. I've been, I was careful after that not to actually leave the trunk open ever again. However, a couple of times I have the garage door opener on the visor where I had it on the visor and I would hit it and drive backwards looking over my shoulder, but maybe not paying full attention and mostly just going by the timing and back out as the garage door was opening and maybe it didn't clear it once or twice. Last week, what happened was it like, I guess I hit it and then it just wouldn't go anywhere. It wouldn't go up, it wouldn't go down. You know, I drove back into the garage and I, it was a problem. I got my husband, he managed to like push it up and I went to wherever I was going. Again, I was in a hurry. I felt really bad because it was really not good this time. It was quite, it was it broken? Yeah, I guess it was broken already, but to the point that my husband and his friend were able to fix it. Okay, but it took them some, they had to do some stuff. They didn't have to get any parts, but they like had to fix it. And I came home and he said, I don't think it's gonna last one more time. So I knew like I absolutely cannot ever do this again. Next time this happened, I mean, I don't know how much we would, we would have to replace the garage door. I don't know how much that would cost, but like I cannot have this happen again. <laughs> okay, so this can't happen again. So I say to myself, okay, now this is the point where I want you to start to think about your skin picking or other BFRB. Ask yourself, okay, what are my most challenging situations here? What are the situations I'm like, this has got to stop this picking. And these situations is like the most of what my problem. For me, like this has got to stop. I cannot fall into this behavior one more time with the garage door. So I thought about it and I knew, okay, I have to change this habit of just getting in my car and I immediately press the opener and then I drive back, right? I have to start. We have one on the wall, a button on the wall that opens the garage. So I thought, okay, before I even get in the car, there's no way I can push that garage door opener that's just outside of the car and drive my car <laughs> into the, the door, right? There's no way that can happen. So I must change my habit to pushing the button in the garage. So I've got to do this, but of course, you know, that's hard to remember. Just like maybe putting um, some finger covers on or gloves or picking up a squishy ball or pop it or something is going to be hard to remember in your situation where you're used to not doing that. So how am I going to do that? The best thing for me to do for when I forgot to do the, out, the garage door outside my car was I would get into the car and if I would habitually just try to press the button on the visor, if it wouldn't be there, I wouldn't open the door. So I took the button thingy off the visor and I put it in my cup holder beside me. Okay, so there, if my habit just takes over, oh, 
it's not there. And then I would go one more step because I would know, oh, okay, danger, you know, I'm trying to create this new habit, so I can't just start pressing the button in the cup holder either because I could create just another, I mean, I could do the same thing once I'm used to, oh, the button's in the cup holder, I just automatically do that and drive back, right? So I need to not, that. so that just needs to be a warning to me. And then I have to inconvenience myself by actually getting out of the car and pressing the, the door open air outside the car. And then I leave, I get in the car, I leave, and then I use the one in my cup holder to sh shut the door. And then when I come back in later, after I've been out, since it's only been not even a week, I still press the visor button, which isn't there. And then I'm like, oh yeah, it's here in the cup holder. But that's not a problem. I never had a problem getting into the garage. It was just getting out of the garage. So the principle here that you really want to know and apply is you have to make the habits that you want to create. First of all, you have to work out what they are. Like what are the habits that are going to make it impossible or at least very difficult but impossible is better <laughs> i needed to make it impossible i was like this cannot happen again so what are the habits i need to make to make it impossible for me to pick then you figure out how to make those habits as easy as possible like maybe it's just putting whatever you, tools you need exactly where you need them and then you want to make the actual picking as hard as possible to do. So I had to do a couple of different things to make it as hard as possible for me to ram into the garage door. And you, for example, if you're picking at the couch, maybe you're putting your gloves or something, finger covers, right nearby to make those as easy as possible to use, but maybe just as a double fail safe, let's say you always sat at the couch on one end and leaned your elbow on the side of it and started your picking like this. Well, you could put something on the couch to remind you basically not to lean on that. Just like it was really important for me to not press the button inside my car to open the back. I did have to inconvenience myself somewhat to train myself like, oh, I really just need to open the door from within the garage itself. And so sometimes I would already be there. So you'd already be like right there and then, oh, there's some thing that I'm not used to on my couch, like a towel's there. What does that mean? Oh, right, I'm not supposed to have my elbow on the couch. I'm not supposed to open the garage door from within my car. All right, so think about all the situations you need to apply this and at clever ways, as many as you can. You'll get a lot of ideas from my other videos, so please check those out, especially probably the body parts video will give you a lot of ideas that you need. And subscribe because I'm gonna have more videos. All right, thanks for listening and watching. See you next time.